Hi guys, this is Stefan Zamit from NeuronFX.com and in this video we're going to see how we can use the Happy New Year template for Adobe After Effects which will basically create for us these very nice, very realistic fireworks, text fireworks and logo fireworks perfect for the New Year's and even Christmas. So let's get started. So I'm going to close this video and jump right inside of the template inside of After Effects and right away in here what we can do is uh, we can go to the project in here and where we have the place your logo text here we can jump to the first one and basically we have four different places in here where, where we can place our text or logo so let's get started with the text I can go over in the first one and I can type in whatever I like in here so I can type merry instead of happy and then if I go to the second one, I can type, for instance, Christmas. And if this is too large, you can easily simply hit S on your keyboard to show the scale in here. Make sure that the text is selected and simply decrease this inside so that it always fits right within this box. So I'm going to make it around 75%. Perfect. Let's go to text three and uh, let's type in uh, to you for instance or or wishes maybe so wishes so merry christmas wishes and uh, if i hit s on my keyboard once again i can scale this so that it fits right within this box just like that so let's make it one one oh perfect and uh, now lastly we only need to enter the last one in here we can type in our text or else we can even include our logo the same thing with, with these, we can even add our logo to this. So to do that, it's very simple. First of all, we need to go to here, place your logo text here, 0, 4. Hide the text in here, simply by doing that. And now we need to import our logo. So simply drag and drop your logo from your explorer. So I'm going to do just that. So I'm going to drag and drop my logo. Click OK. Make sure that your logo has a transparent background in here and uh, like this one so i'm going to place it right over there and as you can see this has that transparent background it is too large right now so simply hit s for scale on your keyboard and scale it down or up depending what you would like and i'm going to make it around this size just like that perfect so of course make sure that it fits within this this box i like to have it around this size so now if i go to the main scene i can see the results right over in here so let's see. So there we go, we can see this frame, Merry Christmas. Let's go to uh, later frames so that we can see it all. Perfect, so in here we can see the text Merry Christmas wishes and as you can see everything has adapted to, to our text that we have inputted. Of course you can choose to put any font as well in here so simply type in, simply select any font from here and the template will automatically take in that font and properties from your text. So that's basically it. The last thing that we can mention is that you can even tweak the, the color of these fireworks. To do that, it's very simple. Simply select which firework you would like to tweak. And uh, for instance, let's see, I have this, this uh, logo text firework 03, that would be this one. You need to select them from here. I'm going to simply solo this for a moment so that I can see it properly in here. And if I go to effect controls, most of the fireworks will have this hue and saturation effect on them. If that is not on, simply toggle this to make it on, just like that. Make sure the FX is right over there. And if for some reason the hue and saturation effect is not present, simply you can go to effects and presets and find from here hue and saturation and you can simply drag that in just like that. So in this case, it's right over here. Make sure that colorize is uh, ticked on in here. So make sure that is ticked on. And then you can simply turn this wheel in here, turn this, this value. And as you can see, like this, the color will change to whatever you like. So if I wanted this to be blue, for instance, now if I un unsolo this, you can see that now that is blue. And you can do the same with any firework in here. So um, if I pick, for instance, let's see, this firework, which would be, if I solo this, it would be this one right over here. 
This has a hue and saturation effect, and I can simply hit on colorize and then turn this wheel to give it any color. So if I wanted to make that like that kind of like blue as well in here, I can do that. And if I also load it, you can see how that updates immediately. So that's basically it for colors. So those are the options that you have. You can as well move the position of these fireworks if you would like. I would recommend to leave them as they are since they are made to best fit your, your the template in here. But if you'd like to move them, you can as well so simply solo that so that you can see properly and then place it wherever you like. And as you can see, if I place it right there, for instance, then unsolo, you can see now that firework is right over there. And the same, you can pick any firework in here and do the same. So that's basically it. Now to rendering, we can simply go to our project window, go to render in full HD. And from here, you can simply add your music file if you're going to use a music file and then composition and add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue or add to Render Queue. So let's add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue. It will open up right over here in the Media Encoder. Simply click on that in the middle in here. And there we have it. Now we can preview it from here as well. And then we can give it our settings. So I usually like to select H.264 from the format and uh, output name, we can select an output name that we like. So uh, simply select the rendering dest destination that you would like to place that in. And uh, type in your, uh, your title, hit save. Make sure the export audio is set to one if you're going to use any audio. And the resolution here is set to full HD. Use maximum render quality. And then in the target bitrate, I give it something like a 50. So this is quite high resolution. And you can upload this to YouTube or wherever you like and maintain that, that resolution. So click OK and then simply hit the green button and it will start rendering for you. So that's basically it. That's basically how you edit this template from start to finish, edit the colors, edit the positions of the, of the fireworks and even adding, the, adding your own text. So you can really customize this to make it your own. So I hope you enjoy using this template and find it very useful. And thank you very much for watching.